we saw m enough cigarettes already. Scratchy Pouch was um, quite a new thing for Benson and Hedges. Usually we're very active in the community and uh, it's incredibly rewarding for our company and I, I think we've sustained a reputation of giving back tenfold into the community and endorse um, bands such as Scr Scratchy Pouch that are anti-disestablishmentarian. And when, when we moved from acquisitions to this job, this sector of the company, we watched um, the Oliver Stone film called The Doors. Oh my god, I love Scratchy Pouch. We're going! We're totally going! We're going, and we love them. Scratchy Pouch! Love Scratchy Pouch! That shit I've heard in years. I mean, the way they come on stage, the way they pull that shit. That, that song, Hip Hop for Natalie Portman? You're talking about Hip Hop for Natalie Portman. Yeah. I would, they, they're kind of selling out, though, you know? Like, this shit, this, they're fucking with this cigarette bullshit. Through the contract and the record guy's face. What's his name? What, what? Mike Surrett. Mike, uh, Mike and Carter. Fuck you guys, man. The Portland welcome was a couple of limes and something to smoke a real fucking limousine, you know. We weren't walking, wandering around the fucking thing looking for our bags, you know, and, and looking for these so-called representatives, you know. Yeah, we wanted to show them that the West Coast... Um, the West Coast feel, you know, welcome them. <clears throat> Those guys were just, just outright first-class chumps. They came off the plane and they were uh, definitely acting oddly, their behavior was completely odd. Um, they, they stank, and uh, one of them uh, said something very rude to me. We'll, we'll see what happens tonight. So I was already in a really bad mood, and I basically just decided to take it out on them for a little bit, just to see how they can ride it out, you know? Fucking like, Do I don't you? know. Do you? You little fucking indie rock bitch. The poor clerk was absolutely Afraid. I, hey, I thought you were gonna bring us to a record store. Can we go to a record store? Do you know any record stores in town? No, you don't know any record stores in town. Well, this is mine. Does anybody know any record stores in town? You work for me. Do you understand that? Without me, there would be none of this. Someone knows who works for me. Go to this record store in town. Because there isn't any record store here, as far as I see. Shut up, Mike. No. I see no preview. Seventy-three. Come on. I think that's the the hip hop attitude this is my record or or the because the, without me the new wave this wouldn't be music thing you know the break dancing would you like to polish my knob you little indie rock fucking snobby guitar playing whatever the fuck you are you like that <laughs> we're just getting warmed up Tell him what you gotta say. Bill Smith is gonna be what? the first black president of the United States. Oh, yeah. That word that we said earlier, and I well, can't you say can't say any of that, really. So you guys are just gonna have to kind of like. So, uh, so Lenny Bruce never really had a comedy hour, did he? What happened at the radio station was um, their behavior became increasingly escalated. In Ithaca, man, they, they, they fucking brought us out in a limo. In fucking Ithaca, fucking uh, Mormons, Mormons fucking knew the words to all our fucking songs. And we come to this, like, the biggest city in Western Canada, whatever the fuck. How many, how many people you got here? 50? Carter did a little bit of a... Uh, that, uh, you know, thing that he does, you know, what do you call it, a DJing or something like that? You yeah, that, that DJ thing, did some DJ, you know, and uh, I did some, some of that thing I do, what do you call it, drinking? I'll smoke the whole pack if, if, that, if, 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 it'll, if, it, if another one will pop out of your ass. Um, that disdain, that contempt that they brought mm -hmm. with them, I don't know if all people in Philadelphia are like that. Did they squirm at the radio station? I noticed that they were squirming. Scratch twice if you understand what I'm saying. The last time. This is so you understand, so shut the yeah, fuck yeah, up. But like, right. This is not your chance you to masturbate it. on air, okay? Jesus, will you talk to him? And we'll be right back here on uh, Green Bay. Shut, shut it all down. You are in a position. You, you, you. You are in a position. You are in a position.
Out of out of the studio, and they were in violation of contract, so they're liable. These fuckers, get on the phone. Right. Um, they were on drugs. They were on drugs. Let him hear the new unreleased scratchy pouch tune. Scratchy pouch. Scratchy Absolutely pouch, scratchy unreleased, pouch, scratchy brand pouch. new scratchy pouch tune. <laughs> Because, I mean, anybody can accomplish anything if they work hard enough, but few can accomplish something great without deserving it at all. And what's your name? Deirdre. Hi, Deirdre. Hi. You'll be the third part of our show. <laughs> and... I don't think it, it fazed me. Um, I mean, the guy's... he's a fucking prick. He's ignorant. Yeah, my, my friend Merrick said the only person who calls himself an artist is a con artist. <laughs> and, he, and he's an alcoholic. He's trailer trash as far as I'm concerned. You are on in two minutes and we need you on standby. I told them that they were supposed to be on standby. Wake up! It's you! It's you! Oh my god! Oh. Oh. So we calmly escorted them. <laughs> you couldn't me, honey. That's how I remember it. Okay, oh, but not her. Not her. This teaching does not okay. go on stage. Okay. Dad, you're not going on stage. I'm not no going on stage. Rats, okay? I say we came to party. We came to party. Turntables come crashing down right in the middle of a solo, and the music's still going, but nobody's playing. I mean, like it's still like <laughs> what a bunch of crap. I will never book these guys again. Murder! Imagine going to see Orbital, and Barney gets up on the stage. Fucking poverty! Like I honestly couldn't believe it. They wrecked my scene. You guys are so over. And don't come back to Vancouver, you fucking chump. <laughs> I just did it to get laid. Come on. Phony. I'm not a phony. I'm an entertainer. There is no phony entertainer. The only Phony entertainer is one who doesn't entertain. Back, yeah, you know, I remember Led Zeppelin. They'd play their own instruments, and they they don't play their own yeah, instruments. Yeah, that's they, music. Yeah, we're just not gonna like uh, go crawl off into some corner and die. Yeah, we don't care. We'll still take the gigs. It's like getting thrown in jail overnight. You still yeah. get out of jail. I bet. I bet if the Mini Vanini uh, booked the show, they'd probably get some people come out. <laughs> well, we, as far as we we're concerned, it was it was all it was all a complete success. It was you couldn't us. you couldn't erode it better. Yeah. 